After seven years of intense labor and a total investment of 300 million US dollars, the Kariba Dam Rehabilitation Project, or KDRP, is nearly complete. The project, which has reached 99% completion, represents a critical effort to enhance the structural integrity of the dam, ensuring its continued operation for years to come. Today, the significant milestone was achieved as the plunge pool refilling was officially commissioned. This marks the final phase of the rehabilitation, ensuring that the dam can safely manage water flow and maintain its crucial role in electricity production for both Zambia and Zimbabwe. We are, with uh, we are going to have the real listing in the course of a month, and this one we are planning to do the uh, last of the two. The Kariba Dam, a key source of hydroelectric power for both countries, has been the focus of this extensive rehabilitation to secure its long-term stability and enhance its capacity for electricity generation. The project is expected to bolster the power supply, which is vital for the economic development of both nations. The pool was going to be excavated by spilling water. As the water comes from the sluice gates, those six gates at the top there, uh, and coming down to hit the riverbed, it was coming down with that energy. We may recall the concept of potential energy. So at that height, which is about 100 meters high, the, uh, the water has energy, which when it hits the riverbed, that energy needs to be dissipated. And part of the dissipation is through eroding the rock on which it's impinging. And part of its dissipation, as the rock gets disintegrated and eroded, uh, the water that's impounded in the wall that's created is uh, giving that energy dissipation effect. So the pool was actually expected. <coughs> when this was originally still riverbed, we expected the pool to form on its own by erosion in that matter. So that way, we then were expecting it to both be created in depth. <coughs> Currently, the depths have been to something like 80 meters deep from original riverbed level. That in itself is not a threat to the dam. It was expected as a safety measure where the water would dissipate energy and then go downstream without much erosion <coughs> as it flows after breaking that energy. With the project now nearing completion, the focus shifts to the future where the reinforced Kariba Dam will continue to play a pivotal role in the region's power generation and water management. The successful rehabilitation of this iconic structure not only secures its legacy but also paves the way for continued cooperation between Zambia and Zimbabwe. I am Kotendi Moya, reporting.